how to add PayPal button on GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a payment button for PayPal to your GoDaddy website. It is very really easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the uh, following steps from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over godaddy.com, sign in into your dashboard, and then you are going to see here the website, click on edit website and boom. This is the first step. Now, the second step is to head over uh, your PayPal account, sign in for your PayPal right here, put your password and here we have the uh, PayPal dashboard. Here for the quick links, as you can see, you're going to see at the top or uh, here below a little bit of the header. We have business tools, invoicing, request money, send money, PayPal checkout, and finally, which is the most important item, pay links and buttons. We're going to select it. Now we're going to get here uh, a, a page dedicated to our business. As you can see here, we are going to choose between a link or a button. You can see here that we have a payment link or QR code, and we have the payment button. Each one of them it will be right here uh, previewed. You're going to choose the PayPal or payment button. Now we are going to see the different or the preview of the different steps. We have the product or the checkout, and we have the thank you page for now we are going to create a product or service so let's go back here to our uh, as you can see here the page we have a pc or a gaming pc so we are going simply to create a product or service so now we are going to select a uh, product now we are going to put the name of it of like gaming pc you see like that so we are not going to give it a id for the price of it we are going to give it like this now for the less customers buy more than one at a time no if you are going to put here something that is going to be um here sold for uh the more quantity the more that you are going to gain please go ahead and put for example five uh, max quantity per customer and for the shipping fee we're going to use a specific shipping fee so we are going to put here since it is a fragile pc so it is dependent on the product obviously we are going to put here maybe something like 100 so we are going to be extra extra careful with this uh, bad boy right here so for the tax rate tax not applicable so i will not table customers for customers note now for the customization of the button we can go ahead and put a stacked button or a single button let me right here close this one so we are going to see the preview as you can see here we have a single button and here we have a stacked button so we are going to leave it as stacked here you can choose the button layout horizontal or vertical bill or rectangle so i will go ahead and put it as bill so for the size you can control it the uh, button color you can control it which uh, or pick what PayPal button should say. Here we have it. And etc. So for the third option, which is optional, customize your thank you page. For example, right there, you are going to see no auto return. You can go ahead and use a custom auto return URL. And here we have the button. So the last step is to click on build it now we are going to see that we have the code language we are going to copy the code which is the html code now we are going to head back to our godaddy website we're going to add a section so in this section we are going to use it right there click on add section then we are going to add an html element so 
here we have the menu load in. We're going to search for HTML. Then we are going to click on this. We are going to click on add. Then we are simply going to paste our code right there. And you are going to see the preview of the PayPal button here like that. So we are going to click on done here on uh, GoDaddy website. It is uh, not very performing well in the um, category of the placement and everything because the uh, website builder is not that high quality. As you can see, we cannot uh, use the uh, placement of the uh, button. Also, we have no uh, such like uh, here. The font is different. So it is not like Wix, but it do the uh, job correctly. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.